Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Very frigid cold. Um, we had a blizzard recently. Some people did, but um, it wasn't that bad. Now I'm off today because Melanie is ill, so I'm caring for her. I just wanted to show you the results of the blizzard. Didn't even fill in my pathways and just barely filled in here now these are my my tire tracks from coming home the other day after work but other than that um the blizzard didn't really touch us here now um in what was that again uh Sego county they had a state of emergency and shut down the roads it was terrible i guess um shut down the roads from 10 o'clock at night until 8 o'clock in the morning in that county and that's just north of us but psh, we didn't get a thing look at this this is just the only drifting we had right here and the road here hasn't been plowed just just this little bit see the road hasn't had to be plowed at all oh i can't see a thing beautiful bright sun on the solar panels today we're pumping the energy out today uh, gonna be like this all day so we can use some solar power I'm I'm home to care for Melanie because uh, like I said she's ill so I'm taking care of her um, I'll be cooking the meals and prepping things for her today but wow that looks nice it looks nice it's bitter cold bitter bitter cold it's uh gonna be a high of um, I don't know in, in the low teens if if we're that lucky and lows down below zero and the minus temperatures. Whoa, it's blinding. I'm gonna need sunglasses. But here we are at the off-grid homestead. So I'm gonna shovel out my pathways this morning and, well, it's, it's getting near lunch now, but I'm gonna shovel out the pathways. I've been working on DIY tube video community this morning and uh, I'm gonna get out here and clean up our yard and redo all the pathways here after lunch. But, Figure I'll keep the camera rolling if there's anything interesting comes up today while I'm recording. Um, DIY Tube is is going through a lot of changes and and uh, updates and stuff, and we're making it better and more secure. So go on over and check out DIYTube.video, which is by the way a troll-free zone and offers uh, freedom of speech and freedom from harassment, free video storage, instant membership. So uh, go check it out, guys. Especially in light of all the harassment going on on other sites recently. Alright guys, I'm going to go in and keep going on the lunch. Just wanted to let you know what's going on here and that we didn't get hit with that blizzard like we were, we were going to. Which is good, I guess. Well, the beautiful sun is gone. I'm still shoveling pathways throughout the property. All the way. Um... I haven't got to the solar panels yet because it's not that bad. It's not a big deal there. I still got to get out to the which, the electronics lab, shovel my way out there. Um, some things are changing, and uh, people are wondering about it. Yeah, I see a lot of talk. Well, everybody, I've been caught. I have been caught. Everybody says that we don't just own one house. And the talk in the town is that we don't just have one house. We have another house somewhere that we use as well. And you got me, guys. You got me. You win. We've got two houses. There it is. We've got two houses. So they've been telling the truth all along. We have two. We have a summer house and a winter house. There it is. Winter house, summer house. We're living a life of the rich and famous. The only difference is we don't have to fly or drive to get to our summer house. It's pretty cool. Anyway, there's some weird rumors that we don't live here and it's all fake. Um, but whatever. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, and um, the solar panels aren't wired up either, by the way. There's no wires on the solar panels. Those are props. Whoops, one is disconnected. One is disconnected. I have to fix that. 
yeah, there's no wires on the solar panels. They're a lie. And uh, yeah, that's another one. Anyway, so there is one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars of props right there. Just props. Well, pretty expensive props. So anyway, theory is we're rich, and uh, this is just a, a very expensive stage show. Just is all for stage. So yeah, I've been reading the comments. It doesn't bother me at all. It's just stupid. So um, the one thing, though, I have to admit is that we've got some propane. Um, Melanie has had a, a bad year this year with health. Um, last year was all good. I don't know what's going on this year, but she's um, also her back is injured from having a baby. So I'm not home anymore to do the firewood like I was. And so we got some propane. So um, we are using the furnace more than we are firewood because I just am not here to do it. And that is how it is. So I wanted to tell you about that though. The, just can't can't keep up. There's just absolutely no way when you work a full-time job There's no way you can keep up with firewood and heating a homestead um, It's just uh, I Melanie She's from the Philippines and there are certain lines that are set on what a Woman does or does not do and she refuses to cross some of those lines and going out into the woods and splitting firewood and cutting with a chainsaw is a line she won't cross and I don't blame her that's what I, one of the things I like about her and um, you know she's she's got her ways and that's just uh, that's that's just the way they are the way of life for them and um, I'm not home enough and so that's how it is so we've got propane for the furnace and uh, so that's why you, you'll probably notice our firewood isn't going down any further I just can't do it. There's no way. But most homesteaders are working a full-time job, or part-time even, and they have to they have to get by. So you might have noticed also I'm not saying the off-grid homestead in my titles anymore either, because at this time, although propane is not um, on the grid, the grid is the electrical power lines, and we still are using solar panels and um, we still have them connected and we're still using them but um, I'm not saying the off-grid homestead and at this moment and probably in summer when the days are longer I'll be able to start stockpiling fire, firewood again for next year and in summer when we're not using the propane for heat then I can say the off-grid homestead again but see I'm trying to be fair and honest to y'all so I'm not saying off-grid um, Again, propane is not on the grid. Propane is not connected to the electrical power grid. Solar panels is all you have to have to be off the grid. If you're not using the electric grid and you're using solar panels, then you're not on the grid. And that's a... Uh, people get confused with spy movies and think that going off the grid means going dark and not being noticed or not being on the internet either. No, it's the power grid, period. That's it. Anything else is bonus. A lot of off-grid homes use propane and consider themselves to be off the grid because they're not connected to the power grid. That's the grid. I don't know why that confuses people, but it does. Anyway, uh, it's brutally cold, so I'm going to go back in. I wanted to share you an update about what's going on around here a little bit. And the next morning, it's snowing. Beautiful, though. I don't know, can you see that coming down in front of the car lights? Hope that shows. Just beautiful. But I have to shovel a bit. Got a couple inches in the night. Uh, see the trees are all white. So I am, I'm shoveling my way out so I can get to work this morning. But it's pretty. It sure is pretty. It's crisp, clean little snowflakes. Now I've got, here I'm shoveling fresh fallen snow is closing in my tracks and I'm gonna shovel through this little hump right here so I can get out and around I decided not to yesterday and now I decided I have to because it's two inches deeper uh, yeah it's beautiful but we're supposed to get another few inches again today oh this has been a long hard winter well I've got to get to it I've got to get myself off to work 
<sighs> well, guys, I'll upload this video for y'all. Let me get uh, get going here. That's that's pretty deep now. I do have to shovel that now. So I'll talk to y'all later. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. It's a project in the works. Still ongoing. Talk to y'all later.